Hello everyone, welcome to this SharePoint Online tutorial. Myself, Roslyn, and in this video, we will learn about the SharePoint Online text web part. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. First, we will see what is SharePoint Online text web part and how we can configure it into our modern SharePoint site page. And also, we will see how we can insert image, table, and the hyperlink into the text web part. Now, what is SharePoint Online text web part? Using the SharePoint Online text web part, we can add normal text or paragraph into the text web part, which we want to display it in the modern SharePoint site page. And also, we can add tables that we want to display it into the text web part, as well as the hyperlink, which will be navigating to the mentioned URL in the SharePoint Online text web part. And in text web part, there are few formatting options that are available like bullet styles, links and highlighting options are available to highlight the text content. As I already said, we can also add, add or insert the link and image in the text web part and we can display it in the modern SharePoint site page. When we add the text web part table inside the text web part, this is how it looks like. We can see the text and table formatting options is presented. Under table, you can see the table styles, insert and delete the table rows, as well as table alignment option is also presented. And these are the formatting options that are presented in the text web part. Like you can see the bold icon that is presented, italic, or if you want to underline any kind of text, then we can choose the underline option over here. Now I will show you how we can add and configure it into our modern SharePoint site page. Now open the Microsoft Office Home and log in to the SharePoint application and select the site page for which you want to add the text web part. In this example, I'm going to choose the communication site page where the text web part is presented both in the communication site page as well as the team site page. Now click on the edit icon, select the section that you want to Add. Now in this example, I am going to choose the on column section. Now click on the plus icon to add a new web part in the section and go, go for the text web part. You can see the text web part has been added in. and by default you can see the formatting options that are presented in the text web part. Now inside the text web part, add some text or paragraph and you can see in this example I have added it the normal text font style and the font size is 18. If you want to change the font style or font size, select the text for which you want to change it and choose the heading accordingly and, and also the font size. And if you want to change the font color, you can change it, change the font color by expanding the font color option. And if you want to highlight the color, then you can go with expand and choose the color. If you want to make the font or the text in the bold, then you can choose the bold option. In the same way, if you want to display the text in the italic format, then choose the italic option. You can see, you can see it changes accordingly. If you want to bring the text in the left alignment, then you can go choose the left align left option in the same way if you want to bring the text to the center then you can choose the alignment as center in the same way align light op right option is also there if you want to give it in the justify manner then you can choose the justify option these are the four alignment options that is presented in the text web part and if you want to add bullet list to the text or paragraph you can click on the bulleted list you can see the bullet point has been added in the same way the number list option is also there if you want to increase the intent you can click and increase the intent let me show you now you can see that i have added the second point and if i choose the increase intent it you can see the line space has been added if you want to decrease it you can decrease the intent if you want to change this as a heading one you can select and choose the heading to or header tag that you want to choose you can see it changes accordingly based on the selection if you want to insert the table inside the text web part you can click on the insert table option in the same way insert image and insert hyperlink you can click on the hyperlink option to see more options or more style click on this icon and 
choose the more options like this. You can see the text and table formatting options that are presented. As I already said, you can choose the text and change it as a bold or italic. If you want to underline any text, you can select the text and click on the underline option. You can see this has been underlined. And if you want to clear all the formattings that you have added in the text webpad, you can simply select clear all for select the text for which you want to clear it then click on the clear all formatting options then you can see the no format has been added like the font color font size by default it displays the default value the default font style and the default font size value only when you click on the clear all formatting options if not it will be display the text according to or based on the selection that we are choosing you can here see the font style font size font color option is presented font highlight color option is there and you can see as i already said we can add align it based on our requirement now to add the hyperlink either we can choose this hyperlink option that is presented in the text webpad formatting options or we can select this hyperlink Select the text for which you want to add the hyperlink and click on the hyperlink option. You can see the insert link pop-up window appears. Here you can pass the URL address under the address section and you can see here we can pass the text that we want to display it in the text web part. And if you want to open the link in the new tab, click on the open link in new tab and click on the save button. Here only when you add the URL you can see the save button is enabled else it will be in the disable mode now i will pass the url you can see the save button has been enabled and click on the save button in the same way i am going to insert the hyperlink for this option here also i am going to click the open link in new tab and click on the save button if you want to change the font color for this text you can change the font color and click on the republish icon so that the changes will be saved you can see the new link has been added in the text web part when you click on the sp guides it's redirect to the spguides.com site in the same way when you click on the enjoy sharepoint it redirects to the enjoy sharepoint site this is how we can add or insert the hyperlink into the text web part now i will show you how we can insert the image and the table in the text web part now to insert the image here you can see the insert image option click on the insert image option here you can see the browse image click on it and these are the sources that are presented you can choose any image from any of these sources in this example i am going to choose with the stock images click on it and click on the insert option you can see the image has been added Using these handles, we can resize the image according to our requirement. Here also we can align the image to the left or the center to the right. We can align it. And when we edit the image icon, you can change the image. If you want to change it, click on the change button and you can select any other images that are presented and in the same way click on the insert icon. You can see. The image has been changed. We can also add caption for the image. And if you want to add alternative text, we can add it. Now click on the republish icon so that the changes will be saved. Here you can see when you refresh it, you can see the updated image has been updated in the text web part in modern SharePoint site page. This is how we can add image inside the text web part. Now I will show you how we can insert or add the table inside the text web part for that click on the edit icon here you can see the insert table option is presented click on the insert table option enter the data that you want to add inside the table here you can see i have added the table enter data in like employee name employee id and the name we can also choose the table styles like this it changes according to our selection this example i'm going to choose this table style and if you want to insert any row we can insert it you can see if you want to insert above you can click insert above option if you want to insert below the row then you can see 
the new row has been inserted in the same way if you want to insert left column we can click on the insert left option and the insert right option if you want to delete the row we can select the row and click on the delete row option if you want to delete the column then we can click on the delete column if you want to completely delete the table then we can click on the delete table option if you want to align table to the left we can click on the left alignment and the center alignment and the right alignment in this example i'm going to choose the table center alignment you can see the table has been aligned centrally means the table is aligned in the centered manner click on the republish icon here you can see the table has been displayed in the text web part in modern sharepoint site page so this is how we can add the table inside the text web part with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how we can add the text or paragraph in the text web part and how we can add insert hyperlink into the text web part then how we can insert the image into the text web part and how we can display the table with the data inside the text web part in modern sharepoint site page if you like this video please click on the like button and these are the free tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you